Breaking news, folks. We got some breaking news. Desmond Trufant has been cut from the Detroit Lions, our starting cornerback from last year. Let's begin. Welcome to Detroit Lions Talk with Mike or Mike. We talk all things Detroit Lions, news, rumors, analysis, breakdown, and everything regarding our franchise. In this video, we're talking breaking news because Desmond Trufant, our starting cornerback from last year, has been cut from the Detroit Lions. This is no move that really was unprecedented. We all thought this would occur because Desmond Trufant, not only was he a detriment to being a starter for a team, he was always injured. He didn't perform that well when he was on the field, and obviously the cap hit for him was fairly substantial. We heard from Dan Campbell earlier in the press conference suggesting that the Detroit Lions need help at the cornerback position, and he said it would be addressed regarding Desmond Trufant, and it has been addressed because Desmond Trufant has been cut. What does that mean financially for the Detroit Lions? Let's break it down. First off, his cap was $12.187 million. By releasing him, the Detroit Lions get a $6 million dead cap, but they save overall $6.187 million. And that's vital towards the Detroit Lions changing the financial structure that has put them over the cap by the former general manager and head coach of Quinn Tricia. Comment and reply to the pinned comment. That is the very first comment that I pinned. And let me know, was this a good cut? All you got to do is put Y for yes and for no. Let me know. I want to hear what the fan base thinks. Do you think Desmond Trufant being cut from the Detroit Lions is a net positive? Hey, let's get at it. It was really important for the Detroit Lions to make some roster decisions, not just from a player standpoint and production on the field, but from a financial standpoint as well. Desmond Trufant was a detriment to the football team when it comes to the financial ramifications and inability to stay on the field. How can you perform? Well, when you're not on the field, Desmond Trufant was that player. He has an injury-riddled history when we got him, and he showed it to be continued last year for the Detroit Lions. Now, what does it mean from a roster standpoint? Well, the Detroit Lions can now go to players such as Amani Awarie and last year's rookie, Jeffrey Okuda. Look, they're probably going to draft a cornerback also in this draft. It's not necessarily mean it's going to be a high draft pick, but it could be somebody for depth maybe in the later rounds for the NFL draft, and they could definitely pick somebody up regarding free agency to help that depth out. I'm not going to lie here, folks. I think this is a good move. Why? Because Desmond Trufant was not on the field. I preach this for my structure and how I would like to run an organization you got to have players that can be on the field. The best ability is availability, and Desmond Trufant was never on the field. How can you have continuity when you're in and out of the lineup left and right? We are trying to build a real football team through Dan Campbell in the image of Brad Holmes. What do you do? You get young guys that you want to mold in the way that you operate. Look, we got a defensive coordinator when it comes to Aaron Glenn, who was a secondary's coach. He can now help out these young guys in Jeffrey Okuda and Mani Awarie and make this team better and proper going forward. It is important to have players that can be on the field. So I have no problem with the Detroit Lions cutting Desmond Trufant, saving cap, saving playing time for the up-and-comers and the young cornerback crew, and getting younger. It's important on all sides of this to do that and operate in this fashion. When it comes to building a football team, when it comes to building from the ground up, you don't start with veterans that have baggage regarding not being on the field and big cap hits. What do you do? You get younger, you draft players, and you build through the draft, and you build the team the way you want it to be struck with healthy players. Desmond Trufant was not that. This was a move we all expected. I definitely expected. I talked about it way earlier, and I expect a lot more moves to occur, folks. No doubt about it. And I'm not just talking about, you know, players here and there. There's Justin Coleman coming up. 
what could happen with him. He could be an individual next on the list. That could be on the chopping block. Jesse James, no doubt about it. Danny Shelton, Williams, many players out there that the Detroit Lions have on the roster that is a net negative financially and didn't perform well for the Lions last year. And the era of Campbell and Holmes want to get their own guys. They're going to build through the free agency and most definitely, most importantly, through the NFL draft. What now? Let me know in the comment section. What would you do now that we are cutting Desmond Trufant? Do you want to see a individual get drafted? Do you want to see the guys that we currently have get put in better positions? Hey, let me know. We all have different opinions, and I want to know what you guys think about this. When it comes to Desmond Trufant, look, I wish him nothing but the best. He wasn't a guy I totally disliked. And it was simply majority injury history. Look, I hope he gets on with another team and he has a successful career. It's not just it's just not gonna be here in Detroit as we're in a rebuild slash retool mode. We need to get the Detroit Lions in the image of a young football team that's healthy, that can compete, and that Aaron Glenn, the defensive coordinator, can mold in the way he wants to see the secondary be. We got to be patient with this defense. There's going to be many cuts. There's going to be a lot of turnover because this defense was extremely bad. I repeat, this defense was really bad, historically bad. And it's going to take a little bit to turn this ship around. Hats off to Aaron Glenn. Hats off to Dan Campbell and Brad Holmes because they're going to have to turn over this roster. A lot of people are going to have to go. What was done to this defense should be against the law. It was so bad. I mean, we're talking about the defensive line, inept. The linebacking core, the worst. The secondary pieces that need to get removed. Injuries, all sorts of bad things that needs to get done. So this is just the beginning. This is the first cut of many cuts. There's going to be a whirlwind that's going to take place. A lot of turnover on this defense. When it comes to the secondary, I think it will get better slowly but surely. We got along young pieces right now. Mani Awarie, we got Akuda. Maybe they can bring back Daryl Roberts, who's not that bad. He actually did fairly decent last year. That could help out from a cornerback perspective. It'd be a cheap free agent, and he did fairly okay. We got Tracy Walker, the safety, and we got Will Harris, who I think is not that good at all. We're going to see they're probably going to get a safety in free agency, maybe get one in the draft, but it's going to take a little bit of time. So we got to be patient. I got to keep telling my audience this and stress. If the defense does not come out looking great this come coming year, please do not, do not point all the fingers at Dan Campbell, Brad Holmes, and Aaron Glenn. This was a travesty that was done to this defense. A travesty. They have to remove players, multiple positions, and they got to turn over this roster, and they got to get younger, and they got to get people bored for the new system. That is a lot to do, and for this to occur in one year seems extremely difficult. Now, I think the defense will get better, in all honesty, just because Patricia is gone, and I think that alone is going to make the defense better. But make no mistake about it. There are players that must get removed. There's going to have to be turnaround. And for this defense to claw itself back to relevance is going to take a little bit of time. Not only that, you're going to have new players with a new scheme. So these players are going to have to learn the new scheme. There is multiple factors that comes in for this defense to get better. We got to get new players. We got to get the scheme. We got to get the fit. We got to get the everything. So it's going to take a little bit of time, but I'm very optimistic for the future of this team two years from now, three years from now, because it starts here. It starts now with the cutting the fat and getting rid of players that are not going to work out for the future of this football team. Hats off to everyone that's going out there. Hats off to the fan base for if you understand this, you get it. But if you don't understand it, just look at it from a long view. Hit that like button, folks. You're going to want to hit that like button. Why? Well, I'm going against the legacy media. They're big. I am just one guy. I'm trying to build one pride to bigger. I want a bigger platform so the individuals out there that don't get their Lions news, 
They all they got to hear is the New York Giants and the Dallas Cowboys. You get your one pride Detroit Lions news. Hit that like button. The video then can go out there and it can be reached. And that's always a good thing. Just look at it from a long view and understand it's going to take some time. So much fat to cut. So much more moves to be made to get this defense back to respectability since, what, a long time? It's going to take a long time. I mean, this team has had a defense in since 2014, and then before that, it was forever. In the upcoming videos, we've got the One Pride podcast on Thursday, 6.30 p.m. EST. Make sure you're there. It's absolutely fun time. We do the mailbag segment where we go for you guys to give us questions, and we answer them live. We have a fun, fun time, so make sure you're there to enjoy the fun. Also, I got videos coming all the time you want to make sure that you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out and subscribe a lot of the people who watch my content are not subscribers hey how are you going to get the content if you don't and understand and see the videos coming in at one time also we got the spiked kool-aid hosted by the gridiron blitz at 7 p.m est on tuesdays a fun show hey it's interactive you can call in if you want to hear us speak, you want to get answers spoken to on the phone, make sure you call in and enjoy. And on Wednesday, we got Necessary Roughness hosted by Troxel Sports Talk. A great time. It's a comedy show. We have fun. We shoot the S and it's all about having a good time and talking sports.